Hey guys, welcome to Prince of Peace Tarot. I'm Justin, and today I'll be doing a reading for those of you with Sagittarius placements in your chart. So if you have Sagittarius anywhere within your chart, this reading could resonate. And if it does, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. If you want to book a personal reading with me, the link to book is in the description box below. Okay guys, so before I jump into your spread, let's say a prayer. Infinite Creator, Olodumare, to my higher self, my Ori, Ashu, Obatala, to the Agun Marine Laie, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, to my benevolent ancestors, known and unknown, Florine Williams, Norman Williams, Exius Willie, thank you for allowing me to source the most accurate reading for those with Sagittarius placements in their chart. All right, guys, it's a five card spread, including the top and bottom of the deck. This is a part two, all right, to what the one I just posted for you. Um, so we have the devil again, the eight of wands in the reverse. The Knight, excuse me, the King of Wands, the Hermit in the reverse. Rounding out the spread is the Death card in the upright. At the top of the deck, we have um, the Tower in the upright. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups in the reverse. This one is a little bit more specific to the type of person that would be sending dark magic towards some of you. And this gives me a more spiritual slant with um, who they might be. Um, this is possibly more than likely an older male, but it could be an older female. Take it as it resonates. But what gives me older male is the King of Wands with the Hermit in the reverse. See, this is somebody who is very active with their wand. Okay, King of Wands Tower. Very active with their wand. Even the sometimes this um, combination of the tower, three of cups, could indicate threesomes, group activities. Somehow they triangulate. They could use sex to cause divisions in between the people that they are over. Okay, um, and then you know with this devil energy, they're obsessive about stuff like this. Uh, they, I think their energy came off very exuberant or active. You know, with the thing that they're interested in. But what they noticed was when they met you, they came to a big realization about real spirituality, true gifts, okay? Um, when you have the tower and the death card, that is a big realization. And I think both you and this person have that realization. You know, I've mentioned numerous times before about those of you who go out and seek to know something from another person that you can actually pull out of yourself. You know, if you just applied yourself, and I think you're going to realize that when you come across groups or a person like this. Um, and you may notice, like, because here there's um, this thing with the devil and the hermit about earth based plans being uh, canceled. Right. So it's like uh, this person was your teacher, maybe spiritual or whatever, could be otherwise. And you would say, let's let's have a date or let's go out or let's have sex. But then you realize something like something comes to light. Maybe you find out this person's using their wand on everybody or you think that uh, as we're getting closer, this is just about me and you. And then they tell you, you know, um, we're a family here and I kind of deal with Crystal and I deal with, you know, Sarah and so and so. And you're going to be a part of it, too. And you go, hoo -hoo, no, I'm not like I don't want to do that. Right. So if it's that kind of energy, you like. Yo, I didn't know that this was like this. So I'm, I'm going to back up. I'm going to back up. Then this person also sees like, you're not a fool for one, but that you were truly interested and um, invested in being someone who is um, spiritually like ready, prepared, and willing to, um, I'm almost about to say spread the gospel. <laughs> But I think it's like that. Like I told you before in the reading before that um, you grow too fast or for them, you're growing too fast. You're expanding too fast. Maybe you're asking too many questions. Maybe um, the things that are true tenets of whatever you do or believe or the group is supposed to believe, this person is actually against it. Like they're an imposter. They don't really believe in the things that they preach. And um, you understand that could be asking too many questions or you truly want to deliver your message and this person is holding you back with eight of wands in the reverse. This person is your, for you, this is your limit. You thinking that someone should be over you or that you need to have a master teacher is you imposing a huge limit on yourself. 
So you don't need that. And I think this person knows and is purposely trying to hold you back. Okay. Um, the witchcraft energy is still here because even though I went a little deeper in the deck, you know, we have the star, right? You got the star. So that means you're headed towards your destiny. No matter how fast you're going, that's where you're going. And I think that this person knows you are destined for something. I, I swear this person feels the real deal when it comes to you, right? Um, even at the bottom of the deck, you have the um, King of Swords telling me that, um, you know, you are a leader, definitely a leader, but you're wise, you're smart, you're intelligent, you know how to speak, you know how to think, you know how to think critically. You're not just taking whatever somebody says and just, you know, okay. Yes, master kind of thing. You're not doing that. Um, so the star is here with the eight of pentacles in the upright telling you to focus on your destiny, whatever your work is, your vocation, the thing that has your attention, less about whatever's going on over here. Why? Because here's the moon again. And then here's the magician, dark magic, dark magic. It's serious. This is two readings back to back. Um, so this could be either happening for some of you now or going to be happening in the near future. I'm trying to tell you, you are expanding and moving quickly. Eight of Wands tells me so. This becomes a conflict for whoever thinks they are the King of Wands. They may try to get these uh, little minions to go against you too. But there is an ending here with the death in the tower. Definitely a, a huge ending. And I think your energy could be like the writing on the wall for this person. Like, this feels like someone who's been getting away with lying and cheating people and not giving them real spiritual fulfillment. And when it comes to you, they see the truth. Someone who could really change people's lives, that has true power, that is actually gifted. Like, God, is God, your ancestors are truly working through you. And this is going to make them upset, which because the eight of uh, wands in reverse could indicate fights and quarrels. Even death and tower can indicate like clashes. You know, we're dealing with uh, Mars energy and Pluto energy, which is very destructive. So not only is it, not only is the situation birthing out a more powerful you, I think it's signifying an ending to this person that my reign of bullshit is over when it's like these kinds of people exist. If this is the truth, what am I? So this is why this person is so mad and going to resort to dark magic to go against you because they know that they have not. While they've been holding their post, they haven't been doing their job. Wow. I, tr I truly feel like this person is older. I know for some of you, if you watch the first reading, these will be, and it could be, you know, the younger ones helping out or someone at your job doing this. But for those of you in spiritual situations where you're dealing with a spiritual teacher or, or someone in your vocation that is like considered the guru or something like that, they know you're the real deal and what you do and I am, this looks like I'm obsolete because I have not, this person hasn't grown spiritually. They just stay where they were at and just let people, you know, inflate their ego. And you're not worried about trying to get followers. That's not what you're worried about. You're, you are concerned with spreading the truth, spreading the truth. Wow. Now, this, this person may have a very bad end because... I do feel you have a chosen energy around you, but just because you're chosen doesn't mean you don't have you you um are exempt from protecting yourself. Even chosen ones, like I say, get into low vibrational things and you have to pull yourself out of that. So if you want to effectively block any kind of negativity this person or a group of people are sending to you, stay out of low vibration. But um they they fucking with the wrong one because they could bring back a big destruction on themselves if they keep trying to, I, even with this, the eight of wands, I see it like, um, you know, what is it called? Backdraft, you know, that movie, that fire movie where, you know, the smoke will come out and then come back in and blow up everything. Um, that's what's going to happen to this person. It's all going to blow up in their face if they, if they truly try to take you down or take you out. I feel that with the tower and death, like it could get to that point where I, this person feels like they're losing control. Um, I'm truly a phony. Who the fuck does this person think they are? And then whatever they send your way hits them back so hard that they wish they're going to wish they never did that or they, they're not going to wish nothing at all because they might not be here. OK, um, just keep your protection up and keep your distance from this group or this person. All right. Whether they be an older male or older female, um, they're not real. 
they're not for real about what they what they're offering. Not at all. They're the devil. They don't they actually lack wisdom. Along the way they stop bettering themselves. They knew something or they may know of things but they don't use it. They don't really put it into work or practice or they just stop trying to learn because it felt better to just have followers and people kiss their ass. So that's um, the reading that I have for you. If it resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. If you want to book a personal reading, the link to book is in the description box below.